So this was a combination of bebdegastrin with palbocyclib. Bebdegastrin is a protac, a proteolysis targeting chimera, so an estrogen degrader. Um, and what was unique about this is that patients were really quite heavily pretreated. So 87% had seen prior CDK4-6 inhibitor, 80% prior fulvestrin, and really almost half had already seen chemotherapy in the metastatic setting. We now had 46 patients treated. Two thirds of them had ESR1 mutations at baseline. And what we saw was uh, we were able to successfully give this combination, the bebdegastrin with palbocyclib for patients with ER positive metastatic breast cancer. We did see more grade three, four neutropenia than what's published for palbocyclib. Um, however, we did have increased exposure of palbocyclib uh, in the setting of bebdegastrin. And so most patients had one or two dose reductions. Only three patients uh, discontinued CDK4-6 and continued on a bebdegastrin alone. The activity uh, among patients that were pretty heavily pretreated was really encouraging. Clinical benefit rate was 63%. Overall response rate was 42% among those patients that had resist measurable disease. And among those that responded, the duration of response was uh, 10.2 months, so quite a bit longer. And I think for me, at least, maybe one of the most fascinating things about this poster was that the progression-free survival was quite long, 11.1 months. And maybe even more interesting, uh, we did not see any difference in progression-free survival based on whether patients had a baseline ESR1 mutation or not. And this has been different than what we've seen with a lot of the other oral SIRDs. Um, so uh, whether this is a little bit of a different patient population or maybe whether this drug has a little bit more activity in patients that could be more endocrine resistant is really intriguing.